Hello everyone, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to his counsel, Todd Chrisley, who is serving a 12-year prison sentence for bank and tax fraud, is suffering from anxiety. Todd's lawyer, Jay Surgent, told the Los Angeles Times, he's still very energetic, but I think he's suffering from anxiety in not knowing what's happening on the outside with his case. Todd and his wife, Julie Chrisley, were convicted of tax evasion and bank fraud in June 2022. Todd reported to Florida's federal prison camp Pensacola in January 2023 to begin his 12-year term, while Julie began her seven-year imprisonment in Kentucky's Federal Medical Center in Lexington. The Chrisley knows best performers are appealing their sentences and convictions. But the process has been difficult and, according to Surgent, a huge source of anxiety for Todd. I think Todd is frustrated with the legal system in general, as far as how long it takes to get anything processed. From getting mail to being able to make phone calls to having his case processed on appeal, Surgent told the Los Angeles Times. Everything is a delay, 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 and it's very frustrating to him. Surgent also detailed Todd's privacy difficulties while incarcerated. He said that individuals inside the prison had photographed Todd in his sleep, and that his client must exercise in a quiet space. Because if he goes outside the facility, there's paparazzi out there trying to take pictures of him. Todd, he says, has a neutralized existence, consisting of eating his daily meals, viewing TV on occasion, and conversing with other convicts. Todd and Julie Chrisley's children, Savannah and Chase Chrisley, revealed facts about their parents' jail conditions on Savannah's Unlocked podcast last month. They said that Julie's facility in Kentucky has no air conditioning, terrible plumbing, probable mold, a lack of water, and even snakes. In response to the allegations, a Bureau of Prison spokesperson told the Los Angeles Times, we can assure you that all AICs have unlimited access to drinking water, and the Bureau of Prisons, BOP, is monitoring the ventilation at the Federal Prison Camp, FPC, Pensacola, and the Federal Medical Center, FMC, Lexington, as one of our highest priorities is the safety of BOP employees and AICs. 